Good day, our dear viewers. You are welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, do it to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. In today's video, we are going to be teaching on how to turn sugar into molasses. Watch the video to the end. The materials needed to carry this experiment is number one, you need pot, normal kitchen pot using cooking at home. You need pot. You need beaker. This is beaker. You need beaker. You need wash glass. This is wash glass. Then you need sugar. This is the sugar we're going to be using. Grounded sugar. Normal sugar using drinking tea. You need sugar. You need cooking gas for the heat. Then you also need water to put inside your mixture. Procedure. Turn on your gas and put the gas in low heat. It should not be too high. Turn on the gas and put it in low heat. Well, if the gas is too high, try to reduce it. Reduce the heat so that you will not burn the sugar. So that you can get your final product. A very nice molasses turn on the heat then the next thing you have to do is to measure in your sugar into your wash glass so I'm going to measure in the sugar now into my wash glass measure in your sugar into your wash glass then what you need to do again after measuring your sugar you put the sugar inside the pot put the sugar inside the pot as you put the sugar inside the pot, you see that it will start melting. Put the sugar, put enough sugar that you want to use for your production of molasses. Put enough sugar and begin to stir it with iron spoon. Please, no, do not use rubber spoon. Stir it with an iron spoon. As you are stirring it, you will be discovering that the thing will start melting. It will start melting and turn into liquid. Start melting. Then you add in more sugar, add in more sugar to your wash glass, add in more sugar, more sugar to the pot, add in more sugar to the pot, add more sugar to the pot. After adding your sugar, make sure that you turn, continue turning so that it will not get burned. Continue turning the sugar, continue turning it. As you are turning it, you discover that the thing will start turning to liquid, start liquefying, turning to liquid. So continue turning it. Keep turning. Your, your gas should be in low heat. Don't hide the gas to the finer. Don't hide too much so that it will not get burned, so that you can get a very nice molasses. Continue turning. As you keep on turning, you begin to see that the thing will start ticking. It will start tick. It will start getting thick. You can see as the thing is getting thick. Keep turning. Do not stop turning. Keep turning so that it will not get burnt. If you stop turning, the thing may get will get burnt. So keep turning. Then after some time, you see that the thing will start turning brownish. You see the color. It looks like as if it's honey. It will, it will have that honey color. That brownish color. It will have that brownish color. You keep on turning it with your iron spoon. Keep turning it. Keep on turning it. The tea will get start getting thick, okay, getting thick, and the color will also change. This is molasses. So for those, this is the process in production of molasses. Keep turning it. It will start continue to turn into brown. The more you turn it, the more it, the color will change to brown. Keep turning it. Make sure that you keep turning it so that it will not get burn. Keep turning. The tea, the, the, the brownish color will keep on coming more higher keep turning it at this stage our molasses is ready look at how thin it looks very brownish so what you need to turn on your heat see how it looks to molasses the byproduct of sugar the last product you get from sugar production so this is molasses this is how to produce molasses at home very easy use this procedure in production of a molasses once the molasses get cold it will be very strong so when you are mixing it, putting it in it, make sure that you put water to it to dilute it so that once it gets cold, it will not be hard. Because if you don't put water, if you don't mix it with water when you are doing it, it will be very hard. So mix it with water as you are mixing, put the sugar that you put water in it to make it to be soft when it's cold. So this is our final product. We have molasses. This molasses you can use it to give to animals. It's very rich. You can also use it to production of a pan wave lava. 
it's one of the ingredients we use in production of palm weevil lava this is molasses look at it is very fine looks very beautiful so don't forget to add water when you are mixing once you put the sugar make sure that you add water if you don't add water it will be very strong be very strong like stone so this is the final product we have this is molasses molasses from sugar we got molasses thank you very much for viewing do to share this video and subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you